Dell XPS 17 review. The Dell XPS 17 is making a major comeback. Dell's largest new laptop is still slim and it has a shape factor. It has workstation capacity in a chassis, which is similar to many 15 inch laptops. And the XPS 17 provides one of the largest and most intestinal displays you can expect on a laptop, thanks to its huge four sided infinity edge display. The XPS 17 steps out from smaller siblings, which are more fit to content developers or players with more robust graphic choices. The charge on a 4K laptop also takes an amazing time and boots roaring speakers. Although it can become very expensive once you start customizing it, the XPS 17 is one of the best laptops to purchase if you really want beastly output at a massive, beautiful monitor inside a true beauty of a design. Unfortunately, the XPS 17 continues to use Tencent Intel Core i7 processors that says we're also waiting for Tiger Lake CPUs to make their way to the largest XPS notebook. Watch our video for the full review of the Dell XPS 17. So stay with us till the video's end, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Let's get started. Price and Availability the Dell XPS 17 Core i5 has a retail price of just under $1400, but it's already discounted to $1273. This Core i5 10300H, 8 gigabits, 256GB SSD setup is the most affordable. Dell has an 1899 XPS 17, which comes with a Core i7 10750H CPU, a 512GB SSD and Nvidia GeForce GTX 1650 Ti graphics. It, just like all the other versions, is currently priced at $1714. Many that need even more muscle graphics will view the 2849, presently 2351 version that increases the GPU to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max-Q while doubling RAM and capacity to 16 gigabits and 1 terabyte. We examined the trick out $2999 of the Core i7-10875-8 CPU RAM 32 gigabits, SSD 1 terabyte, and RTX 2060 graphics, which now amounts to 2351, but currently just 2351 dollars. You can expand to the 64 gigabits of RAM and 2 terabytes of storage for an additional 294 per add-on if you either require more RAM or storage. In summer 2020, the Dell XPS 17 was launched and the new Dell XPS 17 still has no support for the latest 11th gen Intel Tiger Lake processors that deliver quality and efficiency bumps. But the latest processors are not ignored by Dell. Tiger Lake is refreshed in the Dell XPS 13 and Dell XPS 13 2-in-1, so it's likely that the latest CPUs will shortly be able to use the largest standard laptop in Dell. Design Dell XPS 17 is one of the most stylish and trendy 17-inch laptops that I've put on. It has a razor-sharp structure that borrows from the architecture of its smaller XPS 13 and XPS 15 brothers. Anyone that makes the XPS range stand out will retain its attractive silver aluminium exterior, its convenient soft-touch deck and its almost loose infinity edge panel on the largest Dell laptop. Although the XPS 17 looks fantastic in black, I would hope that its smaller XPS 13 sibling would deliver the same awe-inspiring arctic white color. Ports The Dell XPS 17 provides a maximum of 4 Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports that double as many as load ports and are also compatible with the display port. A full-size HD card reader and a 3.5mm headphone jack are also included. This is very well compared to the MacBook 16-inch Pro, which packages four USB-C ports but does not have the SD card slot. Display Dell's latest four-sided Infinity Edge monitor, which removes the thick underneath lens for a genuinely translucent display that is almost all screen, is the most recent XPS 13, 15 and 17. And the stunning 17-inch 3840x28400 monitor on the XPS 17 stands out even more than before. It contains a screen-to-body ratio of 93.7%, which is almost as perfect for extreme multiplexes as it's all losing your beloved films and displays. The XPS 17 had rich, pleasing black text that looked inky and readable on the keyboard. 
On the backdrop of the laptop, the ice blue waters are popped. Performance The XPS 17 pulled out a 10th gen Intel Core i7-10875, a 32GB RAM processor and a 1TB NVMe SSD to perform every function without any shock. I've worked constantly in split-screen mode, with over a tens of Chrome tabs available as I bounce between Slack and Spotify programs, but never slow down as I pile up. In the Geekbench 5 general efficiency test, the XPS 17 scored an incredible 7740, beating our 7250 MacBook Pro 16-inch, Intel Core i9 CPU, 32 GB RAM. It takes 8 minutes 41 seconds, and Dell's press a pretty quick time to convert a 4K video to 1080 only a little behind the 8 minutes of the MacBook Pro. Graphics The XPS 17 has an important benefit over its little siblings, the discrete graphics of NVIDIA 20 series. The XPS 17 has gotten strong results in our print testing with a radiation-traceable NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max Q GPU, which can even twice as powerful as a gaming laptop. The XPS 17 is now accredited as part of the XPS Creative Edition range as well as the RTX Studio series of NVIDIA and is suitable for fundamental graphical architecture, photography and music manufacturing. For that reason, the XPS 17 achieved a good 84.8.6 during the Photoshop test at Pudget Bench, which shows how much a device can open and modify a big file. Keyboard and Touchpad each keyboard inside the new XPS 10 series from Dell feels amazing, but XPS 17 could be my pick. The XPS 17 keys were a joy to type during hammering on working papers and email over the course of hours with their 1.3mm deep passage, soft touch coverage and snappy reviews. I blazed with an almost flawless precision score in the 10 fast fingers test and my fingers jumped effortlessly all around Dell's keyboard at a quicker than average 102 words per minute. Webcam I applaud the way the Dell has successfully tied a full camera up to the small top lens of its laptops. The webcam XPS 17 is completely serviceable. Although I'd want to see Dell and other leading laptop builders move up in this area in the area of continuous video conferencing. My face looked bogged down, pixelated and washed in the image I took this camera is still working for quick calls. That's all for today's video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. Do give a like and we will be back with more videos. Stay tuned.